Akira Toriyama's successor, the illustrator of Dragon Ball Super manga, Toyotaro confirmed that Dragon Ball Super is reaching towards the ending of Dragon Ball Z. Till now, when this video is getting made, we had 88 episodes of Dragon Ball Super and we're currently in the Universal Survival Arc waiting for the Tournament of Power where 8 universes will fight for their survival in a battle royale. Each team will have 10 fighters fighting for the sake of their universe. Even though in the anime, the team is yet to be confirmed, from the opening and other promotional materials you already know the Universe 7 team. Now in episode 85, suddenly, Oob got mentioned. But as we know, he's not in the U7 team and won't probably have anything to do with this arc either. He did get mentioned earlier on in the God of Destruction Champa saga, but this time they were very specific about him. Dende explains that this immensely talented kid is the reincarnation of Evil Boo and insists Goku should go visit him sometime soon as his wish or hope made Oob's existence possible. But the real question here is why Oob was suddenly mentioned, given the fact that he has nothing to do with this arc. Based on this, the fans were already starting to assume that DDS will soon reach the ending of Z or go past it. But now, Toyotaro himself comes forward to confirm that and it can be said it's official now. He clarified some more stuff, check this part out. Interviewer, can you anticipate any event in the Dragon Ball Super's story? Toyotaro, I imagine you have read until volume 2 where Goku Black appears, so we will discover later on the events that will be unleashed. Of course, the story has to end like the original in a coherent and natural way. So, at least you know that, without a doubt, Goku, Vegeta and others will survive. So unless Toriyama or Toei has a drastic change of plans later on, Super is going to do everything to be in line with what was shown in the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. That means Goku is not gonna meet Oob before the World Martial Arts Tournament. And the sad part is, we know the outcome. That is, no matter what happens, absolutely everyone is gonna be just fine. And that takes a lot away from this Universal Survival Arc. This is exactly the reason DBS needs to break the wall down of limitations and move on past the ending of DBZ. Dragon Ball Super is taking place between the 10 years gap that took place before the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. The aim of Super is to add value to the entire series, even though a story with Oob where Goku meets him before the tournament wouldn't be possible due to what they showed earlier. They could still show 4-5 to five episodes centering on the story of Oob before he met Goku and company in the tournament. He always had superhuman strength and it would be interesting to see what he has been doing with that till this point. How he discovered his power, how he learned martial arts, and if he's like a hero of his village. Maybe he could even encounter some Z fighters other than Goku, that would be interesting. They could certainly build that up. That Z fighter can be the one to invite him to the tournament. So basically I'm suggesting we should get some Oob episode leading up to the tournament, which would add some character depth and will help us to understand him better. Of course after they surpass the ending, they could literally go in any direction they want to. Some fans keep mentioning dot 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 happened in GD, so we can do this, we can do that. Well, listen. This might hurt your feelings, but Dragon Ball GD was a bullshit show that couldn't even survive 70 episodes. It's non-canon, it's not an official part of the Dragon Ball story, it is as important as any other fan manga, except it has even less acceptance than the fan mangas like Dragon Ball Multiverse. It doesn't matter what happened there. It just doesn't exist. Now, about the last episode, I don't know how they'll go about it. If they will actually reanimate the episode in DBS style, keeping everything same or maybe make some minor changes, if it was up to me, I would make slight changes like I would mention one or two things related to DBS. Maybe even show Beerus and Whis at the very least, not make Krillin appear that old. And a few other fixes to make things look more logical, you know? 
However, DBS might just have a time skip and go past the ending of DBZ and then talk about it one episode where we get 5 to 10 minutes of flashback. That way, they wouldn't have to reanimate and things will remain exactly the same. But if it was up to me, I would do it again for DBS, keeping the main structure intact but adding some moments or lines to make it appropriate. As when the episode came out, there wasn't any idea of DBS so it mentioned nothing or showed nothing that had to do with DBS. So I would get that changed if possible, maybe Goku flashing his Super Saiyan blue form. Let me know what you think about this. By the way, just to clarify, this is quite obvious, still you know certain type of people exist. The thing is, DBS is reaching the ending of Dragon Ball Z, not its own ending. This does not in any ways confirm that DBS will end soon. It can end soon if they want it. It can end anytime. But this has nothing to do with that. In a matter of fact, if you are a DBS fan, you must want Super to cross the ending of Z as fast as possible. Because that barrier is creating a lot of obstruction. For example, the fact that we know what's gonna happen later is taking away a lot of thrill from the current episodes. I think once we break the barrier, the writers will also be able to create a much better plot. And I just don't see any reason to end super soon. Anyone shouldn't even think that. They are introducing like hundreds of new characters this arc. Why would you even think that they will end it in the next arc? No series in the world would introduce 100 plus new characters before just ending. It's a matter of common sense. Anyways, all that apart, if DBS indeed reaches the ending of DBZ and has a oob saga afterwards, what kind of story would you want to see? I'll make another video on it. Make sure to comment your suggestions and theories down below. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.